For my documentary, I wanted to shoot a nature film about Antelope Island. In my head, I pictured beautiful shots of wildlife, like in Nat Geo. So I simply packed up my gear and went. This was early in the semester, so it was still winter, and it was very cold on the island. I brought friends along, and all of us were ill-prepared for the weather. Snowed in. Everything is just fucked. We went around the island with our beginner gear, getting different shots of the island, thinking that this is how you make a documentary like Nat Geo. After almost freezing to death, we looked at the footage, we were disappointed by the quality of our cameras, and this caused us to fail to realize that the documentary was missing a purpose. So then, me and my friends proceeded to purchase new expensive gear, including new clothing and outdoor equipment, like nice tents, new expensive cameras and lenses, and we made plans to return to the island. We returned in the spring, more prepared for the weather, but not for the documentary. We thought we could make a documentary by getting cinematic footage on top of a rock, or footage on top of a peak, or by adding slow motion and saturated sunsets, but that's not what Antelope Island is about. Every day Antelope Island is flooded by photographers and videographers, and that's all you see. People with expensive cameras looking for the shot. Looking back at my adventure to Antelope Island, the best parts were the times when the camera was off, and I was enjoying the adventure of being on the island. This is what Antelope Island is for. It's for getting away from the crowded city and experiencing nature. It's for being around those you enjoy being with. And most importantly, it's for enjoying life.